Hello YouTube and welcome to episode 3 of Storyteller Plays Hollow Knight. In the last episode, we unlocked the Stagways, this game's uh, fast travel system. Although you do need to unlock each point of travel first, it's not going the whole oblivion direction. And uh, talked a bunch to NPCs. We also got a map here from our friendly cartographer. I did not buy anything useful like the compass uh, medallion or charm. I believe they're called charms. I have an idea as to where I am, though. Probably. But let's bug this dude. Get it? Because we're bugs. Ow. Did that take two health points? One moment, my good sir. Let me just heal up. Ow. That's not a good idea. Yeah, I seem to have stupided myself into a corner. Huzzah. Okay, I probably can't get through there. There's definitely a point in time when I'm going to be able to do something like that. That point in time is just not right now. Leave me alone, dude. I've already decided you're not worth fighting. Not because I can't win, but because I probably wouldn't. Ow. Rude. Let's go. Ah. It is good to be recording again. I managed to let myself get out of the swing of things. Hmm. This room is suspiciously large. I could just be conditioned into thinking that every large room is a boss fight. Oh, this large room is a boss fight. Let us find out which. The false knight. Whoop. No, he's not. Ow. There we go. I was about to say, it's like, he's not swinging that thing. Whoa. Okay, shockwave. That's important to note. If I had a weapon that large, I would be using it more. Like that giant nail I joked about picking up in episode one. Come on. Come on. Ow. Oh, let's get out of here and heal up real quick. You never want to be too greedy while healing. Because if you risk getting hit just for a single point of health and then lose it instantly, you also lose the focus you just used to heal. Which is no good. There we go. I wonder if I could hit those burning uh, projectiles. Okay, now he's going to panic. Okay, the floor is definitely giving out. So that large room below that I said looks like a boss fight room is a boss fight room. Although I'm pretty sure I fought this guy. Like, not recently. I mean, like, years ago. Ow. Let's not die, storyteller. No. Exactly what I said let's not try to do. Well, that certainly could have gone better. <gasps> My map updated. Okay, so it shows where I died. Which is a pretty good indicator as to where I am. Do you hear that? That means that my corpse is close. Come on, buddy. I'd rather fight you without the presence of the boss. Honestly, it would be much more fun to play as that thing. Like, it can fly. Which would probably ruin all, the, all of the platforming puzzles, but whatever. Okay, buddy, take two. I know all your secrets. Not gonna do me any good. I'm an idiot. I 
I should probably try not to let him corner me. There we go. I feel like this does more damage. There is no science behind it. I can hit those back at him. Sorry, I'm still learning. Ha! Huh. doesn't hurt to get an extra few uh, points of damage in. Come on. Let's not die this time, Sato. Let's go. Let's put on a show. I don't want to die here. Wasted. That was just exactly what I was talking about not doing in the last time I fought this guy. Okay, let's not. Healing will do me no good if I just allow myself to get hit again. Ow. Okay, I'm gonna waste a couple seconds to heal up. Okay. He's going to go rage mode. Healing up. I missed my opportunity to hit one of those orbs back at him. Oh. Hmm. I for some reason thought I was going to have to fight him down here. It's a large enough space. Also, I got the city crest. I don't know what that does. Ooh, Geo. Money, 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 money. I can now afford to go buy more map pieces. Oh, what? Come back here. Be my friend. I'm taking you with me. Let's go. And it's gone. So yeah, City Crest. Is there a way to check my inventory? Yes. Uh, map. Here we go. A stone slab bearing the crest of the Hallownest capital has an insert on the back that would fit into a slot. Okay, so yeah. I've definitely defeat defeated that boss before if he's super important to progression. What? Hello? Oh, I can go inside. That didn't look like a doorway. Let me just heal up real quick. What's up, oh. weird snail-looking dude? Oh, -ho. who's that creeping out of the darkness? My, you're looking grim. A strange, empty face and a wicked-looking weapon. Something important has drawn you down into Hollow Nest's corpse. But I won't ask what. Perhaps the reason you've found me is because you need my help? Say no more, friend. I'm going to give you a gift. A nasty little spell of my own creation. It's just perfect for a little one like you. Oh, ho. Oh, I know where they are. This is where I get the ability to shoot projectiles. Which is very handy. So I've definitely done this before. In fact, it's pretty safe to assume that I've done everything before up to the reigning city I was talking about. Oh, you're awake at last. I, I apologize. Perhaps I should have warned you about the power of that spell. I was watching over you as you slept, but seemed to have slipped away myself. Oh, ho. No, we're, no, uh, no, we're awake. I was wondering whether you would do me a small favor. Not as a repayment for my gift, of course, simply because we're friends now. You see, a horrid great beast has made its home in the heart of this temple. Such disrespect. I, sh I would not allow, or I would be quite grateful if you were to venture deeper inside and slay it for me. It's a hardy creature, but with your new power, you've more than, uh, you're more than a match for it. Good luck with this small favor, my friend. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I just did his voice, and I've already forgotten what it was. 
I think the game wanted me to use Vengeful Spirit there. Whoop. There we go. That, re that consumes Ow. Quite a bit of focus, though. Whoop. It does, however, pierce armor, which is good, because uh, for something that consumes focus, if it didn't, that would be kind of annoying. Me. I'll probably come across her again at some point. But one of my favorite NPCs refers to your character as a scoundrel for using magic. Which is great. Can you uh, choose what direction you fling the uh, spell in? I'm out of focus, so now's not the best time to wonder. There we go. More focus. Wow. I am very stupid. But that's not a surprise. My longtime viewers, the, both of you, will know that that's just kind of par for the course. Whap, whap, whap. Okay, so those enemies can seem to be defeated even when they're shelled up, so I'm going to guess... That the magic isn't armor-piercing, or perhaps it still is. Ooh, an obelisk. I'm waiting until I lock the ability to, uh, navigate better. Because I know there's at least a double jump, right? I think I've gotten that. Maybe a dash. I don't know, time will tell. I have a long history on my channel of not finishing games. But I will at least try to finish this. Or if I'm not going to finish it, I'll try to have a legitimate reason for doing so. Like I just get so stuck, I have no other hope. Ow. Mm, perish, my dude. Ow. There we go. That wasn't a difficult boss fight. I did get all quiet-like. Ooh, what's this? Soul catcher. I think it's get some more souls. Oh, uh -huh, so you've done it. You've slain the beast. The poor thing, it must have been terrified of you. It used to be quite docile, but the rancid air in these caverns filled it with some ancient rage. Still, you did what had to be done. Oh, it's like you have my gratitude. Of course, we both know you wouldn't have made it through without that spell of mine, oh ho. Oh look, the gate between us has opened, oh ho. I'm sure you're eager to move on. Farewell and have faith. Whatever you're seeking, it will find you, oh ho. Yep. I've got faith, my dude. Soul catcher. Uh, shamans. Yeah, get more soul from the world around them. Increase the amount of soul gained. Which is more important to me than some silly actual damage dealing per abilities. Whew, I'm glad I was able to finish that in time, because episode 3, I think, is about to come to a close. I could probably record episode 4, but I should really record episode 3 of West of Loathing. Give you a bit of a timeline as to where we're at. I don't remember what that is. It's worth checking out. I bought a little pin that tells me where uh, merchants and whatnot are, and I think... That's not where I'm currently at. I should buy the... Uh... There we go. Yeah, I have no idea where I'm at. What's this? Sorry I missed you. If you're seeing... Uh, if you're feeling lost, why not pop up and find me in Dirtmouth? Oh, this is where the cartographer was. Which means I am lost. Oh, that's the caterpillar room. Okay, no, that makes sense. Well, that's it for episode 3. Thanks for making it this far if you did. Like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and farewell!